Okay, hello, and welcome to Warhammer 2 Total War, part 3 of our Halfling campaign. It's been going alright, <laughs> all things considered. Uh, we've had several attacks, we've been dragged into battles and wars with other factions which we don't necessarily want to be part of. Oh, we've expanded the Mootlands, I can't forget that. Um, the, the Mootlands now cover more than just the Moot. We have Castle Tempelhof and extremely temporarily Schwarzhofen. However, that's poised to be taken by Manfred von Karstein, who recently destroyed an army of mine with uh, Gotrek and Felix in it. We lost them. Oh, but they did good job. They did good work for us. They helped us take uh, Castle Tempelhof. Getting them was actually quite useful. Okay, pardon, I was just finishing off a biscuit. But yes, we've managed to take Castle Tempelhof, and unlike what I had thought, we actually can build it up. Just like any of our other settlements. The dialogue which we get after we conquer a province, asking whether we want to give it back to the Empire or not, mentioned that it would prop that we would might wouldn't be able to build it up as much as we wanted to. However, that apparently does not apply for us, so which is good. It means actually that we can get uh, some of our best units from Castle Tempelhof. That being ogres and uh, tree treemen, as we see in the screenshot in the background there. It is a little odd that those units are limited to a rank or a level 4 settlement which we can't get in the moot because the mootland is uh limited to three ranks but on the other hand i mean yeah the moot is not a full city i think in the rpg book um it mentions that it's got a population of around a thousand to ten thousand, which is really not that many. That's for the that's for the largest settlement there, which is Aisha Shotten, I think it is. It is what our region is called. Because it's named after the largest settlement. <laughs> after that there's just a whole bunch of like small towns and villages which are even smaller, a hundred to a thousand and, you know, ten to one hundred people for villages. The moot land is not that heavily populated. So last time we also managed to get some recruitment buildings which oh boy I can actually recruit armies we have a full stack of 20 units it feels like such an accomplishment however as I said we've drawn the ire of Manfred and Vlad so we might not have Castle Tempelhof for long <laughs> if uh, Vlad decides to attack us there
But if we're able to hold Castle Timberhof, also, aside from the tree men and ogres, it will also allow us to get the Empire Mages. Because we can build a uh, College of Magic. But only the first level of it, so we only get a choice of one. But I think we get a choice of all of them, so... I don't know which type I would get. Hmm. Life magic would be good. I believe our lords are generally shadow magic. At least our current lord is a shadow mage. Our grand enchanter. I would like if the Mootland map was actually present in the mod, but I don't believe it is. That's the map you see in the background there. They have the houses underneath the hills and... It's a very pleasant looking map. It is kind of difficult to fight on though, because there's a lot of hills and... ...terrain which is impassable, so... Are we done? Nearly. Anything else happened last turn? Mm, the Empire's fighting each other. Wissenland, I think, is at war with Stirland and they're taking pro territory from each other. Uh, Krace went to war with a Chaos Faction, which is present in Mordheim. I believe parts of Ulthwan are actually controlled by Chaos now. Yep. And here we go. Okay, you can see hostile critical failure. Okay. That was on Gotrek. So, they didn't succeed in weakening their army. However, the Battle of Schwarzhafen. Decisive defeat. Wounded Gotrek and Felix. They had a very small army. I was sending them just to... Uh, Reinforce Schwarzhafen, but Manfred ran down and attacked them, and he's got a stack of cavalry. So, there's not much I could do. Manfred himself pretty much soloed Gotrek. It was kind of impressive. Uh, I'm kind of a bit worried for Aisha Shutton. We have an alright garrison there, with two ogre units, three halfling rangers, a great eagle, and a treeman. As well as three units of infantry and the master cooks. Against all those cav all that cavalry though. Our main army is up here in Castle Tempelhof. Led by Sam Wise Warfoot. We also have some heroes now. We have Ralph Be Ralph Beckberg and Helmut von Wolfen, an Empire Captain and a Witch Hunter, respectively. Or that way. Uh and we have our Lord, Legendary Lord, Samwise Warfoot, Grand Enchanter, he gets some unique items later on if we keep him alive. Master Cooks, we have some Dryads, Wardens, Halfling Militia, which are basically Empire Spears. Ogres, Halfling Rangers, Pistoliers, Treekin, and your Grand Cauldron, Hot Pot, Catapult. So yes. And we're currently upgrading Castle Tempelhof. I was upgrading Schwarzhafen. Considering that Manfred's just going to walk into it and take it, I removed the building there because it's not worth it. Of uh, Empire, if one of you would like to actually come and defend me, that would be good. Oh, also, last time I noted that a whole bunch of the factions have gotten new icons. Primarily, the Empire. We can see Stirland here has this Skeleton with a horn. Essen has this griffin or something. Averheim has the sun, as they pretty much always do, but it looks a bit more detailed. Wissenberg has this lion or something. And the Empire has this uh, griffin eagle or eagle with the crown and 
a sword and a hammer in its hands and that it's that's actually changed <clears throat> from last session even because last time i believe it was yellow shield with a with the eagle on it this was actually one of the mods updating itself and i'm pretty sure that should not cause any conflicts because it's just cosmetic it was in fact the uh empire uh uniform and heraldry mod which i highly recommend them there's a multiple of them for different factions and they actually give not just uh, the mod updated to change the banners to these or change the flags to these nicer looking flags for the factions but it also makes the units uh have the uh have like some nicer details on the battle map depending on which um depending on which uh province they're from so these swordsmen of reichland if we fight against them or if we see them on the campaign on the battle map they will actually have shields with the symbols of reichland on it the same goes for Nuln, Sterland, Avaland. It's just a nice little detail. I think they also have badges on their shoulders for the uh, provinces which they come from. I have a variety of those mods and I have ones which also do that for the dwarves or just make the uniforms for the dwarves a bit more varied and nicer. Uh, there's one for the green skins which makes them look a bit less uniform in the, than, than they do in the base game. There's one for the Skaven, which gives their clan um, symbols on their shields. As well as some small touches also here and there. Like, I think the armor for clan moors generally, generally looks better. Whereas, maybe the Skaven for clan pestilence have elements of like plague monks in them. It's a more like tattered robes and that here and there rather than just looking like the skaven for any other factions aside from the faction colors oh so yeah we can see Mordheim here is held by chaos warp defilers oh joy they're spreading chaos corruption like no one's business thankfully though it seems to be restricted to that province so I want to deal with Eshin. I think actually we've gotten an agreement with them. Yes, I believe they asked for peace. And we accepted it. Because I didn't want to have to deal with uh, Vlad. So that's actually one threat down for the moment. Unless we get dragged into it by an enemy again. Or by, but not by an enemy, by one of our allies. I don't want to move Samwise out of Castle Templehof. That's going to rebel. We're getting 40, 41 gold from that. I'm going to just stop taxing the province. That will make it easier to control. Uh, Hunters. We're making a... Our income has gone down an awful lot. Taxes. We're, most of our money is made from the background income, which is just the base income you have as a faction. Every faction has that. In previous Total War games it was called the King's Purse. It's just like a flat amount of income you get per turn. Uh, our taxes is very little, 84. And most of our money is actually made from trade, 1027. So if our trade partners dry up or confederate then we're in a bit of a sticky situation. Uh, we'll get some halfling militia. They're very cheap upkeep wise. 61. That's actually pretty good. Oh, are the tree men or oh, tree kin anti large? No. No. They've got magical attacks though. That's pretty good. Great eagles. Just a very fast. Okay. The uh, master cooks are actually anti large. Or they have some anti large capabilities. Bonus versus large is 24. Because they are apparently... Because they're supposed to be armed with cleavers. Well, I suppose they're very good at chopping up large hunks of meat. We have Icky here, Icky here. Of the Trolls faction. There's been trolls marching around the place frequently. There's some also up here. Leafcutters tribe has taken over parts of Middleland. 
They got Karaburg and Wiesmund. Wiesmund is over here, I believe. They actually start here, and they have another province up here called Wreckers Point. Oh, that's held by trolls! Okay. Well. Well then. Hey, Sterland, you're not interested in anything? Okay. Uh, Whistleland is at war with the Blood Dragons. Oh, the Blood Dragons are located over here. Oh, Blood Keep. Okay, well, that makes sense. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. I was wondering why they were at war with the Blood Dragons. At some point, I saw an army of the Blood Dragons march from over there, from over this way, into Sylvania. Because I thought previously they just started over here, but apparently they start over here, but they have some provinces over here? Anyway, this region here is being re renamed as Bloodkeep. Karak Asgaraz is there, and Grimhold is down there. Can we actually see that? Is that a large settlement? It is! Bloodkeep is actually the capital of the Southern Grey Mountains. So there's Karak Norn, which is over here. Then there's Bloodkeep, which is about here. And then there's Karak Asgaraz, which is held by the Crooked Moon tribe, up there. Paravon has Helmgart. Oh. Yeah, also Crooked Moon has Ubersreich. Uh. Yep, yep. We're gonna lose some trade too, because I'm currently trading with uh, Zufbar through Schwarzhafen too. Aisha Schatten. So. As soon when we lose Schwarzhafen, we're gonna lose the, uh, Passage for trade there, which is a shame. I should just go and attack Manfred. I need to deal with him. He is being a pain. But I don't want to move from Castle Templehof because it will suffer. It will, um... It will rebel. Wait, we're suffering raiding? Oh, no. Oh, it's from, um... Iki. Okay. How much will it suffer if I leave? I will marshal the men. 13. Okay, so 95... 98. Yeah, f whatever. I mean... There's no way... To, there's no real way to win this. Uh... Go straight for Castle T Dragon... Castle Drakenhof. He's got a wake battlefield in there. Ah. Uh, don't want to lose Castle Templehof. Because that's our... That, that's a good settlement. They'll take Schwarzhafen. I'll be able to get some more militia there. We'll just leave it as it is at the moment. Oh, and in two turns, I believe we should be getting 15 extra armor for all of, all of our infantry, which will be nice. As we actually give them, like, state-issued armor or something like that. <laughs> yeah. We managed to get some armor, and we're equipping our troops with that. We just found it. They fell off the back of the Quartermaster's, uh, wagon. Thinking of which, I think that's actually something they could add for the Halfling's um, army. I was reading, I read their uh, army list and apparently they're supposed to have chuck wagons. Uh, they could add chuck wagons to the uh, Halfling army by modifying the, um, what's it called? Oh, you're attacking Isashan. Ugh. Um, okay, let's hope we don't lose the moot. Um, fight bravely? Um, yeah, but they could modify the uh, war wagons, the chuck wagons. By, I don't know, removing the shooters from them and just having them as like a a wagon on the map? Uruk Holtz hasn't actually seen combat yet. 
Uh, I'm worried about this. But we have a fairly good garrison. Two ogres, a great eagle, and um, a treeman is not really that to be, uh, not really to be sneezed at. How am I going to deal with a cavalry? Cavalry. I'm going to position myself in that forest. That will cut down on their fighting ability. I think my guys have at least a better cap capability of fighting in a forest than they do. I mean this forest here. <laughs> this copse. Though because it's a reinforcements, they might have to move in on the off off map. They don't have that much infantry though. But last time they proved they don't need it, they just charged me and terrible things happened. Well, so I put too far too much faith in uh, Gotrek and Felix carrying the battle. Manfred did so much damage to them. Jeez. He's a mage, but he's really... No slouching, really. At least against... Unarmored and unmagic get weaponed Gotrek. Anyway. Our weapons are yours. Okay, so we can position them in the forest here. Dryads. Dryads are weak against armor. Ogres are armor piercing. Sigma um. Hmm. Ideally we would have our rangers freed up to shoot them in rain. Shoot them in the back but I don't think we're going to have that luxury. We need our master chefs here because they provide, um, what's it called? Immune to psychology. The tree man. Uruk Holtz, what's he got? Oil flask. An arrow of Akshi. So you hit them with the oil flask first, it increases their flame weakness, and then you hit them with the armor of Ak arrow of Akshi, which causes fire damage. But it's weak against armor, and strong versus multiple combatants, so it's not really something we can use against Manfred. Black Knights, if only I had those infantry. Hide the rangers in the trees. We're just gonna have to try and tank this. Blah. Freeman can try and deal with a bunch of them on its own. State troops ready. Huntsman. To us the foe for held and hammer. Okay. Your Two. You're one. Hold ground. Okay. It's about as good as I can get it. Do I want to move up? Yeah. Okay. Move. There. All that cavalry. Oh. The cavalry is going to flank, so get over there. Get over there. Get there. What do you bid? 
No lingering. Hey, bird. Sigma commands. See if you can attack them before they get drag out. Okay, well, battle is... Battle is met. Sigma. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, jeez. That freaking cavalry, what do I do about it? Hold you, person, dogs. Right. Bam. Well, we took one out. Dreamer actually attacked that necromancer. Oh! Hot speed! Ready for war! Holy crap, how did you not take any casualties? Formation! March! Moving formation! March! Yes, yes! Giants, you've rallied. The Empire is yours. Missiles will fly. Oh, Dreamin. Come on, hold on, you glorious swords. Ready? Sir, I'm ready. 
No, no. Manfred, you get off my general. Come on. Taking down Manfred. Don't flee. Oh, we got Manfred. Oh. Oh, fuck. Excuse me a moment. I have a victory. Victory bit of tea. Oh. The moot was able to survive that. I thought we were going to lose that so quite heavily. Oh man, all that cavalry. I didn't have an answer for it, but I'm amazed those uh, militia were able to hold on as well as they did. They were barely injured by they were by the casualties they dealt to the uh, to the cavalry up there. Jeez, we don't get to see how many they killed either. Well oh, done, lads. Ugh. Black Knights aren't even that, like, nasty cavalry, but... It's just... We... Just they had a lot of cavalry, we didn't have an answer for it. Seven units of cavalry. I think that Great Eagle helped an awful lot. I think it tore through Manfred pretty handily. <sighs> I was so afraid that our troops were going to just lose, you know, a few more guys and then just all run. But the moot stands! The, uh... Courageous nature of the uh, halflings should not be underestimated. They can fight when they need to, they just don't like to. Now no one will make fun of us ever again. It is a Pyrrhic victory, but all of our losses were from the uh, garrison. So that means it's more acceptable because those regenerate and are free units essentially. And that whole army of the Vampire Counts is gone now. Uh, I believe they might retreat and gain some of the units back, but since they attacked us. Rurik Holt's got 26 kills, that's pretty good. His arrow of Akshi didn't seem to do as much as I thought it would. I was expecting it to like shoot through units, but it seems to be a fire, sort of a explode on impact with basically anything. I don't really see how it's useful against multiple units then. If it's just like hits something and then explodes. <sighs> I think Uruk Holtz deserves a title for that. Hmm. What would be a good title for him? To honour his courageous Defend leading of the defense of the moot.
I have to, I'm having a think of what possible names I could give him for to represent this. Hmm. Mm. There's a lot of cavalry in that army. He defeated a vampire. Ended the Mootland. We can pardon the captives for some extra money. But I don't think our allies would like that. Uh, pardon the captives. Harder, faster, stronger! Really? That's one of the things the Huntsmen say? I haven't heard the Huntsmen before. They got Moonslaker because he defeated Manfred von Karstein. Attrition. Minus 50% casualties suffered from vampiric territory attrition. He who quenches his thirst on the blood of the living will find cold steel his just reward. Hmm. Something like... I don't know. Defender of the Picnic Hamper or something. War declared between Avaland and the Golden Order? Or was that the Golden Order and... No, the Border Princes. And Carrick Hearn and the Border Princes. Are we getting to follow a, a peasant? How lovely. <laughs> oh yes, this is Emperor Karl Franz with his entourage. All of these people are his entourage. Including that guy. He's a peasant. He just follows us around because he... What, gives us extra growth or something? Battle of Isishan. Oh, bastard, there's some lovely filth over here. Income for all buildings plus 1%. Local region. Oh, lovely. What's the quarry? Hey, we got the uh, halfling militia. Those would have been useful a little bit before. Oh, they did actually take Schwartz often. Uh, circle of protection. Bonus versus large, spearmen and halberdiers. Bonus versus infantry, plus 8 for great sword. Experience hunter. Well, actually, we get all those, I think. Do we? Or are they locked now? No, I think we actually can get all those. So I'll get Circle of Protection, because that will boost our spears, maybe. Bonus versus large, 15. What's this increase apply? 8. Is that larger? Let's see. Uh, 15. It might only increase it on the map. On the campaign, on the battle, in the battle. Uh, bonus versus large. I hope that's the case. It might also only apply for Empire units and not for Halflings. Huntsman General. But they should... See, they count the spear infantry, but they might not be labelled as, like, spear men. That makes sense. In the game files. I will marshal the bed. Uh, 
Yeah, Manfred's still got a bit of an army with him. Absolutely not. Huntsman I think I'll just leave him for the moment. Uh, Rangers are so expensive compared to the militia. But like twice the twice the upkeep. Oh, what uh, upkeep reduction things do you have? Hold the line. Yeah, mortality. Guard veteran. Hail of fire. Dear, 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 dear. Uh, down here. Christian, untainted. Irrepressible. No. No. Quartermaster. Oh, he only gets minus 15. Okay. And that's it. Okay. So he only gets the general minus 15 upkeep. Can we give you any items? No. Okay. Hmm. I could get some tree kin and just spend all of my income, all, all of my yeah, all of my income on those. I think numbers are better than just like so. Oh, the escape of corruption coming there? Osmosis. 50. Plus 50. Osmosis is 1. So far. Okay. Well, that means. Escape of corruption here? Yes, there is. Point 5. Hmm. Here? No. There's a scaven corruption there. The scaven corruption here as well. Not over here. Okay, now we can play the game, try and figure out where the scaven undercity is located. Scaven undercities generate scaven corruption. However, they only generate scaven corruption in neighboring regions or provinces, not in the province which they're actually located in. Workbad doesn't have any scaven corruption. So this whole province doesn't have any scaven corruption. Averheim does. It's got 0.5. Isashutten doesn't, so it's not a province neighbouring uh, the Mootland. Schwarzhafen does 0.5. Here it's 1. Ackendorf has 0.5. Migdal von, von Galbarak doesn't have any. Castle Drakenhof has 0.5. I mean, they could also have a, you know, undercity here and here. In multiple locations. Hmm. Well, there's some Skaven around here somewhere. No Skaven corruption there. No Skaven corruption there. Oh, hello. Luan Leonkur and... Alistair... Babino are uh Paladin of Britain. and Lorenzo de Sorvetera are all going on a crusade against the Leafcutters tribe? Weesmund has been taken by Laurelon Forest. Middleland, you need to do a better job of defending your territory. Huntsman General hmm. I wouldn't dream of it, Manfred, but you did just lose to halflings. <laughs> He's feeling a bit sore about that. Uh... That He's got a pathetic army. Fall in, man. I feel like we could defeat him even if he tried to attack us again. Do I want to try and attack him? Same. Yeah, I prefer to wipe his army out. Hey, it's this easy. Okay. And we'll execute. Go into Schwarzhafen. Uh, get... <clears throat> Pardon? Uh, survival expert. Increase your uh, casualty replenishment rate. Upgrade Schwarzhafen to a hamlet. Since the Vampire Count's armies have been yes, quashed for the moment, it has actually turned around quite nicely for us. 
Uh, Castle Templehof still suffering from quite heavy attrition. Also, last time I noted that we don't actually have many ways to deal with attrition. Uh, deal with corruption. Sorry, I said attrition, I meant corruption. Uh, currently, uh, our characters are decreasing corruption by a bit. Mostly through the Witch Hunter. Uh, I don't think Helmut von Wolfen is doing anything. Unless he has... No, oh, he's got disciplined. Samwise uh, doesn't have anything really to help with corruption either. However, he does have a light college acolyte, which is untainted plus three. So he's helping in that regard. But it's not much. So that's... Four, I think? It says six from characters. What does the Emperor bid? Don't know whether I don't think he gives any like flat. Uh, do you have anything here about that? No. Okay. Oh, we actually get more income from trade. What about thieving? Oh, is it Marius Leekdorf who's decreasing corruption as well? I believe that counts. Enemies. What's that? Insane bravado! Marius believes himself to be invincible and charges off to smite his foes. Plus 11 melee attack, plus 22% physical resistance, plus 18% vigor and unbreakable. These uh, stats randomly change. How odd. The frame rate, like, drops when the... Uh, window there pops up. Oh, it's fluctuating. I don't know why it does that. Let me just have a look. Uh, I had this problem last time. And you, and you. Okay, perhaps that will help a bit. Maybe. Ah. Why are you being so difficult? Anyway. Uh, how many more turns of a non-aggression pact do we have with you? I don't know. We've got Icky here, still. Oh, France is wandering around. Oh, he's got a unit of halfling rangers in his army. How adorable. Look at that, you get demigriff knights and all that. Oh, I wish I could get some. He's got two units of halfling rangers, though. I wonder where they're able to get them from. I believe they only recruited two for Schwarzhofen. Maybe they get some whenever I take a province. Ready. I don't know. Uh, it would be ideal to take Castle Drakenhof right now, but I don't think... Can my army get better than it is currently? What am I expecting to get? Like, halflings wielding great swords? Don't think so. This is about as good as my army is going to get. The only thing that might change is like, having more treek in the tree men and uh, more hop pot catapults. Which are pretty good. But, Hunters. like, I'm just going to be having an army full of, like, militia. I mean, they're all right. The militia are all right. They have 5% ward save, which is, you know, better than the Empire Spearman. Also, they all have expendable on them. Which is kind of a bonus. Because that means that units of mine which don't have expendable, I believe, ignore them if they run. I believe is how it works. You encounter Bretonia and Paravon. 
This is so ridiculous. <laughs> Why did I choose halflings? I could have played as like Araby or something. That would have been interesting. Halflings are interesting. Ah. I would like to play as the trolls one time though. That would be fun. Just armies of trolls smacking everything around all the time. No tactics, just crush and eat. <laughs> I do kind of feel like they should start with Throg the Troll King. Or Throg should be modified slightly to have access to all the trolls. Maybe if he takes certain settlements around the map he can get trolls. That would work. I was always kind of disappointed that Throg doesn't actually have that many trolls in his armies. I mean, he gets ice trolls and chaos trolls, but I don't think he gets normal trolls. And there's only those three types. There's armored chaos trolls as well, but I don't know whether he gets them. There's no, like, stone trolls or river trolls or the like in the base game. There's very little difference between them, other than river trolls are stinky and stone trolls are lightning magic resistant. And tougher hide, so they're harder to hit. State issued infantry armor. Are often issued with armor plate to ensure unit cohesion, 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 cohesion and a moderate level of protection. Plus 15 for infantry armor. I think that pretty much doubled our armor. Uh, we had like 25 before I think? Our units now have 40 armor. That's actually better than the Spears of the Empire. They have 30. Until they get that upgrade, then they'll have 45. Uh, weapon strength plus 10% or charge bonus plus 8% for melee infantry. Charge bonus of my, yes, my Spears Lord. militia are 4. What's 8% of 4? <laughs> uh... Our best units are like our rangers. Militia, they really can't get that much better. Weapon strength plus 10%. Well, weapon strength is 22. That would increase it by like 1. The melee defense plus 4 would actually be better. That would increase it from 40 to 44. Uh, hmm. Income for increase from trade. Hey, look, we can, can get we can get timber. Lovely. And there you can see the wizard's conclave we can build. We actually get access, yay, we get Jade Wizards, Light Wizards, Celestial, Amethyst, Jade. Oh wait, why does it list Jade Wizards twice? Grey Wizard, Bright Wizard and Amber Wizard. Okay, nice, nice. Uh, we could build Tobacco Blots. That would generate us a nice amount of money. Not actually a trade resource, which is a little odd. Uh, we don't have anything to reduce corruption, which is frustrating. The only thing we have is Nightwatch. But that's... Uh, the fact that that reduces corruption is more of a side effect. It's mostly used to detect Skaven settlements. Or Skaven undercities. I can build the overgrown, overgrown Grove that increases public order by plus four. Oh, I'd like Stroltzy. Uh, build a woodsman's hut. Eh. Uh, I'd actually like to build the walls. Funny as it sounds. To protect our uh, investment here. Because if they attack, 
I would like to have a larger garrison. A better garrison than just militia and wardens. I mean, wardens are all right. They've got expendable still. Yeah, witnessing friendly expendable units route. Witnessing, wait, yeah. witnessing friendly expendable units route does not reduce other units leadership unless they are themselves expendable. So if these militia or warden flee, they don't reduce the leadership of, say, master cooks, dryads, ogres, pistoliers, treekin. Halfling rangers also have expendable. So only these halfling units and the rangers are affected by other halflings fleeing. However, if I have like free company militia, they won't be affected by halflings fleeing. Huntsman General. Okay. We still do have Got Trick and Felix with us. They'll be available in two turns, but after that we'll have them for ten for eight turns, so. By the comet. Oh Avalon, could you just make like a big mistake and lose your army and I can just roll in to take your settlements. Literally so. roll in. Do we are we suffering any uh osmosis? No. Local population is three. Characters is two. Oh, because of you. Melissa Rotep. Can we deal with you? I don't have enough money. A 33% chance anyway. To the provinces. Hey Vlad. Our reli reliability is medium now. Uh, we suffered a large we suffered a reliability hit because we were at we were a non-aggression pact with the blood dragons and then one of our empire allies went to war with them and called us into the war and it was either a I join our ally empire allies in the battle and suffer a diplomatic penalty or I decline to get involved in the battle which would suffer relations with both of them so and I'd still end up losing the uh Diplomatic trustworthiness because I was I'd be breaking my uh, defensive alliance, defensive agreement a no win situation which I'm fine with that's how diplomacy is sometimes Who calls? Henrik Bylaw look at the garrison grave guards with great weapons grave guard Can I deal with that. No, not really. Huntsman General. We do get a soup tank though. Beastmaster Exiles. They cause terror. There's also Lump and Croup's Fighting Cocks, which is a pretty good unit. Immune to Psychology. Warfoot's Band. Okay, okay. All right. Uh, let's. Council of Burgermeisters increase income from trade. If I could just take out Castle Drakenhof. Things would become so much easier. I mean, honestly, if anyone could turn the it's, turn the provinces of Sylvania back into like livable, nice lands, then I think the halflings would be them. They have a very, very good knack of uh, being able to one make a incredible meal out of basically anything, and. Uh, Two, being able to grow things pretty much anywhere. They're really good at farming and cooking. So, I kind of think of that way they should have a good strength of resisting corruption or being able to reduce corruption. 
I do think they need a building which does that. At least. Uh, something. At least something. Maybe they could build the, like, grand hot, grand cooking pots or something, something like that in any of their settlements, which is like a focal point, and it reduces corruption in that province, while also giving you a garrison of some ogres and some master chef, master cooks. Hmm. Peace negotiated. Midland and Hochland, and Midland and Ostland. Well, nice. The Empire has apparently taken their province of, or their region of uh, Ubersreich back from the Crooked Moon Clan. We've finished constructing the hamlet in Schwarzhafen. We can get grazing pastures here. Just build fields <laughs> as well. Get tobacco. Um. Don't have enough money. Um. Yes, my lord. Oh, hello. My axe Baron Din Stoneheart. Welcome, hey, of the Empire. military alliance. Go on, then. I have seen worse trades. Well, 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 well. Hello, dwarf friends. Ready. Moron. It is good that you are willing to aid us in our endeavor. The if they the help player. me in attacking Castle Drakenhof. Hmm. For the wisdom. Alaric, get gold. I would like to own Castle Dragonhof, honestly. My axe now that we're in a military alliance with them. The great outdoors. Yes. How to proceed? Uh, go to there. Huntsman General. Tense up. Okay. I'd like to tear down some one of these buildings to build something else. Like we could just increase our uh, income. Do I feel bold enough to do that? We have these provinces now, which means I could recruit from Western Sylvania instead of just Eiseschatten. For the wisdom of Valaya. I like the cut of your jib dwarves, and I'm glad that you joined us. Oh, can I see uh Are I correct now? No, we're not technically able to see them yet. Okay, okay. I could also try and take Mordheim from Essen. Uh Mord not Essen from Ostermark. How are things going over here? Our France took Ubersreich back. Very nice. Karaburg still owned by the Leafcutters tribe. Black Pit is still owned by them. Gold still owned Wreckers Point. Gorsal I can't see. Arnau I can't see. Marienburg I can't see. Ironheart. Are we a military alliance with Alt with uh, Reichland? Yeah, I believe so. Well, yep. <laughs> Ask them to become a vassal. Yeah, you Empire folk, become a vassal of, uh, become a vassal of the, uh, boot. Blackstone Post! I can't enter diplomatics with them. Okay. One fort. Or oh, Hell's Guard. Blood Keep still owned by Vampire Camps. Or Blood Dragons. And just having a look around to see how things are changing. Karak Asgaz Angazar is taken by Golden Order. Okay. Karak Kadrin I can't see. 
Nothing is apparently changing up there. Telebicland is still held entirely by Telebic... Uh, Telepime. Or Telebicland. <clears throat> Telepime is the capital. Telebicland is the, uh... What's it called? State there. Now, which Skaven clan is causing issues here? <clears throat> it's probably just a minor Skaven clan. Oh, we've encountered beastmen. Where? Are they raiding the Mootland? Well, the Vampire Counts have spawned another army. Every re every turn we take to attack them, they get larger. And Manf uh, I saw Vlad also moved out of Essen. I wonder what he's up to. I'd kind of like a blood dragon spread out. It would be amusing to see them, because they're a new faction added by one of the mods. Uh, usually the province they are currently located in is actually held by the dwarf faction there. Okay, let's see how things have changed. Gotrek, your comma, Gotrek, has returned from their absence and is once again ready for duty. Engineer, good. Take it back from the dead. Capture and occupy the following settlement, Castle Drakenhof. Vampire Counts have always arrogantly believed the lands they hold dominion over are theirs, but they are and have always been within the Emperor's, Emperor's borders. We got Felix again. Oh, he actually spawned in a Schwarzhafen. I want to replace you with Gotrek. <sighs> oh, hello. Wallach Harkon has taken a uh, Stangard. Oh, and he's built the Baleful Brazier. That, that's going to spread corruption. What is Adeline Van Hal? Okay. Yes. Uh, anything else changed around here? Carl Francis attacking Draug Cracktooth. Uh, well. I mean, it's not like they're going to get easier to attack. If anything, they're just, I mean, they obviously they're going to get harder because their settlements got upgraded and then they're going to get better garrison. Never. Paulus von Falkenstein. No. Uh, Did I replace you with... Kind of want to replace you with a... Uh, Got trick. I mean, I, I do like you. Oh, I didn't give you a title. Uric Holtz. Uh. Okay, I'm gonna have to finagle this a bit. Uric Defender. of lunch luncheon there we go Ulrich defender of luncheon 
What greater honor could there be in the boot? However, I believe we are actually going to uh, kick you and replace you as Gotrek. Because, frankly, in a siege, I think he's going to be better. Does he have a unique line if he joins Gotrek's army? That's kind of neat. Did you miss me? Oh, that's where you went, you... To strengthen the Empire, it is war! You manling! You umgi! Raise your weapons! Oh, what's your garrison? Oh, what's your army? Ah, uh, crypt ghouls, skeleton spears, zombies, three units of crypt horrors. Oh, the grave guard. How lovely. Okay, let's hope we can actually coerce our... What's it called? Coerce our dwarven allies to help in this battle. Alaric, get gold. I'd like you to help me here. This is kind of a big deal going on at the moment. Do I just want to attack out outright? What's the map for Castle Drakenhof? There is a unique map, but it might not be present in the mods currently. It is kind of a large map and... Okay, it's just a basic map. Into battle. It's a bit of a shame. There's a nice map for Castle Drakenhof. It actually kind of looks like the settlement you see here, but it's not present in the beta of the map... community map pack currently. Which I've upgraded to because the uh, main map pack hasn't been updated yet. Uh. Castle Templehof is going to suffer from... How many turns have we got? Declare war. Three turns. Okay. Unless you want to suffer a diplomatic... A diplomatic trustworthiness hit. He's probably not going to declare war on me for three turns. The Dwarven army went kapoof, the one which was over here. I think it got destroyed. However, they don't seem to have the casualties to represent that. So I don't know what happened to it. They are my military ally, so I should be able to see their army if it's anywhere around. But, since it's just gone... Oh, Vlad. I think destroyed it. His armies are recovering. Okay. That's why he moved there. And he went into force march stance. Okay, whatever. I'm of two minds here. On the one, I can attack Castle Drakenhof straight off. I don't have any siege weapons. And if I end a turn, chances are they're probably just going to, uh... Attack me from out of their settlement because, frankly, they do have the better army. <laughs> um. Also, because if I spend a turn, Gotrek's army is going to take attrition. If I end the turn, I'm hoping Alaric Get Gold is going to send their army down to help me. However, in the past, I have frequently. Uh tried to do this, and the AI have not played ball. They're, they're difficult to rely on. I'm telling them to attack Castle Dragonhof, however, they don't... I feel like they don't move to help you unless you're already got a high chance to win. They don't see... I don't think they see that if they move their army, the battle will become winnable. They just see, oh, you're not going to win it. I'm not going to help. But they will help if you're already going to win. I, I think... They're unreliable, basically. If they go to move to attack, they might get attacked by Vlad, which will probably put them off. And I won't be there to help them with that. I'm going to do something which I kind of don't really want to do. I'll quick save here. 
but because of the AI's unreliability, I'm going to end the turn. And if the AI move their army, if Zufbar moves their army to attack Castle Drakenhof, I will leave the turn, go through, and uh, siege it the next turn, or attack it next turn with the Dwarven allies. If they don't, I will reload, and I will attack them with that quick save which I just made. Because I would like to play the battle with the dwarf allies in it, because that doesn't happen that often. Crooked Moon's been destroyed. However, if they don't, you know, if they're not being friendly. Oh, hello, Manfred. You want to talk? Peace treaty. Um, uh, will you give me 5,000 for it? Why would I? The greatest of all von Karsteins deemed to ally with my food. You're the one who brought it up. I just wanted all the money you had. Ah, and you're attacking me. Now my dwarf allies don't come into the battle, but we don't actually take an attrition. Hmm. Paulus von Falkenstein is attacking us. Um... Their army's kind of nasty. They have the staying power. Uh, I hope we can win this. We have Gotrek and Felix. They should help. They're an Gotrek's anti-large. Felix is able to help Gotrek. But they don't have any magic items or any levels. So they're... If they get any of those, which I think they do later on in the campaign if they come back again. Uh, they will be better suited, but we do have a fair amount of militia. Yay! <laughs> We've got armies of spears. Don't have any tree men. I've got tree kin. And we've got a unit of ogres. We have got one unit of pistoliers. And a hot pot catapult. We can't forget that. That thing's actually pretty damn good. It throws fireballs. <laughs> Oh, and our two heroes also. We have a uh, witch hunter and our captain. So we can maintain order on our army with the captain a bit better. And the witch hunter will be good to duel enemy heroes or lords. To a degree. Also, Samwise Wolfwood is also a uh, shadow mage. So he'll be able to debuff the enemy units. I think he has the ability to lower their armor and also lower their leadership. He also has the one which I think lowers their melee attack and defense. Which will help. Only to make my unit survive a bit longer in melee. The game gives us fairly good odds considering against about this. Uh, it's about 50-50 the game was saying. I think a big reason for that was because Gotrek and Felix and the game gives them a very good... Uh, Auto resolve p potential. I wasn't too sold on them last time, but they were up against seven units of cavalry. Gotrek is unbreakable. And we're not up against Manfred von Karstein. They have a Ghoul King, which is, I believe, level one. So if they have a spell, it's only Invocation of Nagash. They have the Master Necromancer there. Again, he's probably only got Invocation and Nagash. And they have a Vampire Count Hero. I'm weighing up all the positives which we can get. Ooh. Ooh, one of their armies is coming in over here. That's actually pretty good. That means we can ambush them right when they come into the map. It's cheap, but I would take anything I can get. Okay. Gotrek and Felix are going to have to charge in from the side. Actually, you can uh, position yourselves up against the wall there. That way you can fire on them from the flank. Okay, there. 
Oh, we haven't got our wardens. Ah. Uh, wardens, you move there. Dryads, also. You can... Actually, you know what? You lot can uh, position yourselves over here. I don't know which army this is. So I don't know how big it will be. We were attacked, attacked by a necromancer. So that means the necromancer is on his own all the way over here. This could be the garrison from the, um, from the city over there, even though it would make more sense for them to attack from this direction. I believe it counts the direction which you got attacked by this guy, so it's a bit off in that way. Uh, mm -hmm. where do I want to put you? There's very little depression on the, uh, no, there's very, not depression, there's very little arc to the uh, hot pot catapult. It essentially just fires in a straight line because it shoots fireballs. Okay, it's probably going to be the garrison army, which is pretty big, but if we can deal that, and we have the advantageous position, uh, then, you know, it's best, this is probably as good as we're going to be able to get to deal with the one. Rush them! BAM! The Withering! Got trick! Charge down here! Shoot those fall bats. What do I want to destroy? Everything! Oh boy. Soldiers of the Empire! Take the ground! Moving now! No lingering! Hold you dogs! Shoot those van gold van guys Var guys What catapult Jeez Just shoot those crypt Crypt horrors Withdraw. Oh, only my units went so slow. You, I need you to, I don't know, cast a cues on something. Not them, they're too far away. Oh, well, apparently they're not. Got track!
Rangers, get out of there. Form up. Taking position. Loaded, sir. Yes, sir. Quickly. We are Sigmar's heirs. Take them all. No. Fleet. General. I will melt their tiny minds. The Empire. The Elden Hammer. Fire. Ah, oh, jeez. Ah. Uh. Where's Gotrek? There he is. Damn! Show us the phone! Prepare the combat! Ready for war! My Galmaraz! Soldiers of the Emperor! Yes, sir! Yes, General! For the Emperor! We don't have our I shall unhinge them. The Helden Hammer. Sigma preserve us. Smoke and minnows. Hot pot, hot pot. Where's the uh No! On my command. Get those fire guys! Don't let them kill my lord! Quickly. Sigma calls. Okay, good. Now, now, however, you're being attacked by a uh, Strigoi Ghoul King. That is not good. That is not an improvement of the situation. I'm back over here. We are Sigma's heads. As you say, withdraw. Die, Phil. Ready to fight. Go. Ready. Lower her onto morale again. Don't flee. Come on! I think we've nearly won! Charge! My axe bursts! I think they're crumbling, perhaps. Holy crap, look at how many kills the hotpot catapult has. Holy crap, 668. Oh! The 
Little halfling, run away! Don't! No, don't die! Oh, jeez! Okay, what do I want you to attack at now? Attack that massive blob over there. The more casualties we deal to them, the sooner they might just all crumble and go away. He's broken. He's rallied. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, they're, they're disintegrating. You lovely swords, you. <laughs> hey. Oh, we actually won that. <sighs> Pyrrhic victory. <laughs> Ooh, that was incredibly close. Oh, what mod am I using? Multiple mods. And hello. Welcome. Um. I am using multiple mods. I have a video on my YouTube channel linked on my homepage on Twitch, which lists all the ones which I have available, which I have active. The ones which allow me to play as the halflings are Mixu's Unlocker and the OVN's Lost Factions mod. You'll need both of them. Look at the, how many kills this hot pot catapult got! Holy crap, 100, 698 kills! Oh, that thing is incredible! Oh, just like chucks fireballs everywhere. I'm so glad it wasn't charged by cavalry. Oh, that would have been blah. 140 kills on those tree kid. They did pretty good considering they were being attacked all the time. We lost basically everything else in our army though. And I'm so glad my general didn't die. If he did, he doesn't have immortal and so we wouldn't get his magic items. <laughs> Thank you, Dwarf Ally. That would have been much better if my Dwarven Ally was able to at um, attack for us, but... Of course, Vampire Counts there, uh, they came before my Dwarf Ally in the turn counter, so... My Dwarven Allies didn't get a chance to... involve themselves in the battle. However, I believe that means we should be able to uh, take the enemy settlement now. <laughs> the moot! Takes Castle Drakenhof. <laughs> Many halflings died to give us this victory. Be, most of them they'll be asking why. I just want to sit at home and eat pie and sausages and I don't know, have fun under bushes with that nice halfling girl I met in the other week. But now you're telling us to go and attack the vampire counts. They're not a threat to us. Uh. I think it was a very good decision to switch out. Uh, what's his name? Our Huntsman General with Gotrek and Velix. I think Gotrek uh, proved himself in that battle. He helped an awful lot with the cavalry and the enemy lords. Though he is an anti-large person for the most part. He's not really a dueler. Felix is uh, more of a dueler, but... I just keep looking at that catapult. Two more kills and it would have gotten 700. <laughs> I'm sure it got a few... Got quite a few uh, friendly fires, but I don't care. <laughs> Yeah, friendly fire. My own troops getting burnt by scalding hot soup. It happens. I don't think the game keeps track of uh, friendly fire casualties. If you fire archers into units which are near your own guys in melee, you do have the risk of hitting your own guys. Um, and they do get damaged by your archers. It is something to keep in mind, it's not 
that bad. Catapults and cannons and all that are the biggest offenders, just because when they hit something, it just dies. Archers are sort of like, oh, my unit's getting hit by my own guys. Eh, they can survive it for a little. This campaign so far has been a whole series of uh, Pyrrhic victories, or just like close losses. And we don't have the units to fight against tougher enemy guys. Ugh. How many did Gotrek get? 57 kills. Freaking. Grand Cauldron Hot Pot Catapult got more, got so many more kills than Gotrick. Oh, it's so dumb. <laughs> Let them eat soup. I can't wait for number three when they finally bring it out. Me neither. I look forward to uh, Demons of Chaos and Chaos Dwarves and Kislev, I assume, and Ogre Kingdoms. Ogre Kingdoms are going to be fun. I, I'm I'm assuming that Kislev is going to be one of the factions they'll have in the lineup for Game Three. Uh, sack for ten thousand. Loot and occupy. Yep, loot and occupy. The flag of the moot flies over Castle Drakenhof. We claim this land in the name of big lunches, second breakfasts, and large dinners. Speaking of the Chaos Dwarves, I have a mod which actually adds the Chaos Dwarves as a faction in this. Though they're not naturally present on the map, so there is another mod I have which as a Chaos Dwarf invasion, and we did see a pop-up about that about five or six turns ago, last session. Or was it about ten turns ago, last session? So, apparently the Chaos Dwarves are coming. Are coming. That's going to be fun. Yay, heavily armoured dwarves with blunderbusses and... Taurus cavalry and... Oh, yeah. And, uh... Hobgoblins. <laughs> and artillery. None of their artillery is better than the hot spot catapult though. Just prove that. Hey, we took it back from the set. We didn't even get anything for doing that mission. Oh, well we can give it to the Empire. We'll get possibly Imperial reinforcements. We'll get glory to the Empire and a treasury of plus 600. Nah, I'll just keep control of it. Thanks, but no thanks. Hey, Warfoot's Band! The Warfoot family has defended the moot since its inception and encompass veterans of many battles and adventures, including the infamous Battle of a Hundred Cannons. This has led to them being revered throughout the moot. Uh, there needs to be a, a full stop there and a capitalized, because otherwise that, that just runs on for the whole thing. Crooked Moon has been destroyed. Vampire Counts has been destroyed. Von K uh, Vlad's still up there though. We got the Hunter. Ambush success chance plus 10%. Tormentor Sword. Ooh, that's a nice thing to find. Those that take a wound from the Jagger Blade of the Tormentor Sword will not only feel pain, their thoughts will be racked with terrible omens. Nameless magical attacks and also minus 26 melee attack and they cannot move. Tomb Robber. Tomb Robber. Leadership plus four when fighting against vampire counts. It's a little late for that. Well, there's still Vlad. Uh, Gotrek got the uh, Tormentor Sword, but I'll be taking that back from him. Rolf Beckberg, Untainted plus three, an Initiate. There's still many young men and women willing to devote their lives to the gods. That's pretty good, actually. But we need to deal with the corruption here. My quest is home. Okay. Well done. What does the Emperor bid? Uh, Helmut von Wolfen, we will give you, what's public order here like? Minus 38. Next turn it's going to be... Uh, minus 7. 
Okay. To the provinces. Uh, on you. I want Pit of Shades. On you, I want. I can't get the second level of Clan's Corruption. Hmm. I'll give you assassinate. Being able to remove heroes when I want to is be useful. And for you, <clears throat> uh, spread public order. Okay, repair Castle Drakenhof. We've got a level two barracks here. We've got the gold mine, so we're generating income from gold mines now. That's pretty cool. Just 900 income for that flat. Uh, we could build walls. We could also build the overgrown grove, which will give us more public order. Or we could build tobacco plots to make money from tobacco. Uh, I would like basic walls, though. For better garrison. God track. Castle Templehof is also going to be suffering from attrition. Uh, not attrition, from a rebellion. But you weren't expecting that, were you, Empire? Huh? Ready. Huh? Huh? Devourer of light. Lord of Vlad's death. still up there, but we have like two more turns of peace with him. It would have been great if you moved to help me. Can I? For the wisdom of Valea. Oh, I can't tell you to go and attack Vlad. I think we both have to be at war with them. I can't tell him to go and attack his enemy. Yes, my lord. I would have to be at war with them to be able to tell him to attack Vlad from Karstan over there. Uh Get the basic walls. I got so much gold. Oh, what to spend it on? Get grazing pastures. Imminent rebellion. Um, get that, get the master cooks, get another unit of master cooks actually. Yes. They're anti-large and they give us immune to psychology because the feast is coming. Uh, I will marshal the band. The plus 10 leadership and immune to psychology for units around them. Oh, we lost down. Ogres. Oh, I could get Warfoot's band actually. What's that? Sword infantry. Shielded, vanguard deployment, immune to psychology. They got stork. Armor piercing and bonus versus infantry. Sure. Okay, okay. Um. They're gonna suffer, like, up a, like a what's it called? Yes. A rebellion, regardless of what I do. So, is it time? Uh, they do have walls. Holy! Look at the garrison in Castle Templehof. Just wardens and militia. Contract All the halflings. Okay. Uh, I think we can ignore that rebellion for a turn. End turn. Ostermarcus declared war on von Karstein. Yep, there's a rebellion popping up. Okay. But they shouldn't attack the same turn, because I have a large garrison in there now because of the walls. The extra peace turns I have with Vlad, unless he decides to break that. Because he feels threatened. <laughs> Vlad feeling threatened by halflings. Um, means I'll have time to uh, build my armies up. Oh, he just attacked Waldenhof. And sacked it? Okay. Unless he lost. I don't think he lost. Not with that army.
Uh, we can see a bunch of the other factions added by the mods I have going past currently. A lot of them are from OVN's Lost Factions. Uh, there's a few other factions I have. There's Unique... Uh, what's it called? There's the Unique Southern Realm faction, so the Border Princes, Astalia and Talia have army lists. There's Kislev, which I did a campaign previously, which has a unique army list. Uh, there's Krakadrak, which has a unique army list. The Northern Dwarves, that is. Uh, anything else? Musalon has a unique army list, but not much of one. It's more just themed. Um, and a bunch of other mods I have add some units to other factions, so the Greenskins armies of army list is fleshed out a bit with some orc variants and black orcs with shields and swords and two saw two two weapons and uh, various things like forest goblins and night goblins with spears and the like. This is also one which adds some extra units to the beastmen. So we have Slangor, Slangors, Korngors, Pestigors, and uh, Zangors. Severe? Good, good. Mission issued. Vanquished a grave scum. Jeez, the moot. The Halflings really hate the vampire counts. They've just been getting missions about killing vampires all the time. He is weakened. We still have one turn until we can declare war without tanking our reliability again. Which I would kind of prefer to do. Rebellion, uh, rebel army is... Eh, it's not too bad. Okay, two more turns until there. You're fine. What's happened around the world? No, oh, Icky's building his army up. This is also added by the Lost Factions mod. There's a Trolls faction. It's just filled with trolls. They have horde armies which run around the map. Though they can have settlements. They recruit armies of trolls. Thankfully we haven't seen a large one. Oh, Boris Toddbringer is uh, <clears throat> right next to Altdorf. I like his flag now. That looks nice. Middenland. White Cloak of Uruk, Colt von Bluten, and von Thugenheim that is a legendary hero for Middenland. Oh! Eilhart has been taken by uh, Marienburg. It was a great mod for Marienburg which gave them a unique army list, but sadly it wasn't updated. Uh, it's a shame. Skull Smashers are there. Mugger Badax. Oh, we got a, a Savage Orc Big Boss there. That's also added by the expanded the Empire. expanded faction mod for the Greenskins. Carl France now is running around with an army of handgunners. Basically swapped all of his swordsmen out for handgunners. His army is basically all ranged. His only melee unit is uh, himself, Luther Huss. And the Reichsguard. Okay. You see Dottenbach there. I forgot that was actually added there. Known was changed in the last patch. Previously it was Known, Wissenberg there, and then Feldorf down here. However, Feldorf was, pre was changed into a capital and added Steingart for its own province of Soland, and then Nolan was changed to uh, Nolan Dottenbach, which was added up here, and Wissenberg was moved from over here to over there. They also hold Flensburg. Uh, what else still hold Weiswund? Aravon has Chaos Corruption in it. Oh, it's decreasing. Okay. Wonderful powers. Blood Keep is still held by the uh, Blood Dragons. Can't see what the garrison's like though. Steingart's also held by the Blood Dragons. Eh, 
Matorka has actually been taken by the Bloody Hands tribe. Hmm. Oh, and Grom Peak's actually held by the trolls. So we get to see there. And Mount Gumbad's held by the uh, Bloody Spears. I think they start with that. Can't see Karak Kadrin. Ostermark's still the same. I can't see any of the rest of the Empire. Uh, okay, fine, fine. Uh, well, I suppose we'll just end turn. <clears throat> well, we've encountered Marienburg now, probably because they took that province from Reichland. I want to deal with that rebel army before I attack uh, Vlad. Or do I? They siege my settlement. They'll have to build up siege equipment unless I have crypt, ghoul, crypt horrors. But mm, all of our militia are anti-large. But they're only militia, they're only equivalent of Empire Spears. They're not Elbadiers. We don't get Elbadiers. Oh. Icky is uh, raiding Isashutten, our capital in Mootland. That's not good. That they don't decide to. Oh, hello. What do you want? Non-aggression pact with uh, Whistleland. Um. Can't trade with you. Yeah, sure. Why not? You're not at war with the Empire. I think they were previously, but they've since made up. The Skull Smasher's going to do. Are they going to take Helmgart or Ubersreich? War declared. Bordello, Bordello, and Beastmen. Bordello. Chaos Warp Defilers against Ostland and Chaos Warp Defilers against Ostermark. <clears throat> okay. Maybe they declared war on Ostermark and then that dragged. Ostland into their battle. Rain silos. It's comforting for people to know where their next meal will come from when winter's chill descends. Would the moot suffer from winter? I suppose so. Maybe not very strongly. Oh, it's Mugger of trolls. It's not Icky. Okay, it's a different troll. It's important to know the difference between your trolls. This is Mugger. This is Icky. Oh, Icky has stone trolls and chaos armored chaos trolls. Lovely. Stone trolls have magic resistance 50% and stone skin, which increases their leadership by plus 40. Wow. Leadership is broken. It's disabled if leadership is broken or hit points are less than 50% base. Plus 25% magic resistance, resistance and plus 30% physical resistance. That's that's very good. Plus 40 leadership. That means the leadership is like... 72. Oh, that's high for a troll. I mean, the generals have 60. <laughs> generals. Massive air quotes around that. Trolls are too stupid, really, to have generals. I mean, the armored... I mean, look at the, the armored chaos trolls. They have 110 armor, but their own leadership is only 42. So having 70 for the uh, stone trolls is kind of insane. Okay. Oh, there's another rebel army there. Waldemar Richtelos against Fort Obersteyr. Well, if they decide to raise Fort Obersteyr, I wouldn't say no. That means I'll be able to get the entirety of uh, Western Sylvania. We can take one troll here. We have a pretty good garrison. 
actually. Uh, Ulrich's not coming back yet. Two more turns. Luther Thorps. Kontz, Holdenstrat. Hmm. They'll probably attack Schwarzhofen. Go away! Would like to attack Vlad. His army's not that good, really. I mean, Blood Knights are scary. The Vargeists are pretty scary too, but Felbats are pathetic. Apart from harassing, which they're good at. Skeleton Spearmen are... Pfft. ghouls are... Eh, alright. Got Emmanuel Posner. And himself. He is a good duelist. We could also drag Gotrek into the battle, and Gotrek would be able to deal with him. What's his melee attack? 70 and 50. Yes. 81 and 55. Vlad is better. He's got the scroll, scroll of Aramar. Oh, lovely. He can only use that once, though. Minus 24 leadership, minus 18% vigor. To the provinces. Um. I want to get rid of Vlad. We'll be able to survive a single turn of, like, siege from the rebels over there. If Icky destroys Swartz, Huffin, so be it. Okay. Got Trek. Uh, get over here. Is it time? Yes, it is. You're going to kick Anyone Vlad von Karstein in the head for me. It still only gives us 50-50 chance. I feel this battle is better than that. Our armies are still weak, though. I want to get it done, though. I don't really want to wait another turn for a casualty replenishment. Also, our general, the Samwise Warfoot, is actually a pretty good mage now. He started off with no spells, but now he's a... Got a nice selection of shadow magic spells, which key among them is a spell which lowers morale by uh, leadership by minus eight, and another one which lowers uh, melee attack and defense by like twenty or something. But the one which lowers morale with leadership is the one I look at the most. It also lowers armor by thirty. Because it, um, it is easy to cast, and it applies to, when you overcast it, it applies to multiple units. Those Blood Knights are kind of scary though. But, they're only one unit. Well, we've got a nice hill here, actually. Where's Gotrek going to appear from? At least our general and our two heroes are fully recovered. They were rather badly injured in the last fight. I'm glad none of them died. Would have been annoying. There was also the garrison coming in, but eh. garrison's just like zombies and skeletons. Not that problematic. Fourteen. Do I want to gamble? Sorry. Ronald's middle finger. Hey. Okay, get our master cooks. They're important. Soldiers of the Empire. Okay. 
I'd imagine a tree kin actually getting the immunity to psychology from them. I think they actually get immunity to psychology anyway. Yeah, they do. I just imagine the tree king getting a bonus of the feast is coming from our master master cooks, and I'm like, I wonder what they'd be doing to entice the tree king that way. Fertilizer for you. Okay, let's have a look at these guys. Well, they got an interesting colour to them. The cream looks nice. About as heavily armoured as you'd expect. They seem to have graduated from wearing pots on their head, though. Like these guys. Ugh. You could have, like, nicked a helmet from somewhere. Come on, mouse wheel. Okay. What are you good at? You're good at anti infantry. Okay, you're fine. Okay, there. And Gotrek's going to come in with his force. They all appeared at once. Okay, their reinforcements are walking in like ours. It's quite a lot of flying, but they have no ranged. They're waiting for me to arrive. So we get the benefit of doubling our armies up. We have free company militia too. Um, you go over there. Your pistols will be useful. Halfling militia. Double ranks. Taking position. Sigma guides us. Or Esmeralda. Making ground. Going. Okay, come on, Gotrek. A mighty doom potentially awaits you. Vlad von Karstein is over there. I'd say that's a pretty worthy opponent. Oh, you also have the Tormentor Sword. I forgot to take it from you. I'm actually kind of glad I forgot, because otherwise I would have had to spend a turn with it in transit somewhere. I would like to take it from you before you leave my service, however. That is a good weapon. Oh, okay. Uh, he gives regeneration? Yeah, he gives regeneration to uh, combatants nearby. To give it to them? No. The feast is coming is affecting Gotrek. It's like, oh, I'm gonna have a great meal after this battle. I wonder if halflings would have Bugman's 6x. Maybe. They probably would have stolen it from somewhere, though. Yes, Halflings don't steal everything. They just have different concepts of uh, ownership. Understood. They're not as bad as Kenda, though. Okay, move there. Wardens, move there. Yes, sir. How many shots have this got? 30. Hmm, that's quite a lot. What spells have you got? Invocation of Nehek, Van Hel's Dance Macabre. You've got Melkos Mystifying Miasma and the Penumbral Pendulum. That's nasty. And you've got Spirit Leech. Gotrek! 
magic resistance is 25%. That's its average for a dwarf. Okay, we should actually hang back a bit because if our hot pot catapult gets attacked by range, uh, I get, gets attacked by their flying units, I would like to be able to defend it. Okay, are you within range? No, you're not. Uh, well, you are. Apparently. Oh, they're moving. Uh, attack the zombies. Okay. Um, they're coming on this flank. Turn around. I want you to attack those zombies, please. They're nice and clumped up. What are they doing? I've never seen that formation from the AI before. It'd be good if you hit something. Uh, take those crypt calls. Our weapons are yours. Ready. Go. Yes, General. Understood. Moving ring. Yes, sir. For the war. Square up. Okay, here come the fire guys. Hold on, you. Bending reality to my will. At speed. How are things going? Pause for a moment. Where's the hot pot show it? firing? Uh, shoot those vargeists. Also, I want you on stand ground. Free company militia, shoot those vargeists. Felix, where are you? Uh, you're there. Where's Vlad? Okay, you attack there. Oh, you're getting attacked by a uh, Manuel Posner. No, Anzu Krugenheim. Ah! Blood Knights attacked my, uh, attacked my pistoliers. But, actually doing a pretty good job of fighting off the uh, vampire counts. We're taking out all of their flying units, and without that, their basic infantry is kind of left on its own. Charging. Charging. My axe bursts. As you say, feel my play. Now, Sigma Preserver. Do 
Oh no. There's Vlad over there. Sword drawn. Her Jaeger. Fine. Bring it. Vlad is disintegrating though. Yeah, he's not long. And victory! Whew. Actually, a fair bit easier than I thought it would be. Ugh. Us spears aren't actually that bad. <laughs> they can hold! Samwise even got one kill. Well done, that man. Or that halfling. And Vlad was carving through halflings, however. He killed 46. Uh, 166 kills on the hot pot catapult this time. There wasn't as much infantry though for it to shoot. It is a thing which I feel like you need to have on the flanks so that it can shoot down the enemy ranks, but... Or down the front line. Because it's so... Straight in its arc. Twenty five kills on Warfoot's Warband. That's kind of impressive. 27, 17, and 14 on the uh, Rangers. But our Rangers are pretty good. Seventy one kills from the uh, Blood. But they were in combat with my. Uh, well, with a unit of militia and then my Pistoliers, so they got a lot of kills from that. Vargeist barely got any kills. That's good. And we were able to keep them off our units, or shoot them full of uh, bolts before they did too much damage. 38 kills for one of the units of Felbats. That's impressive. I wonder what they're attacking. Hmm. Unit militia? Felbats aren't really that good at killing. As I said before, they're more of a harassment unit. Use them to, uh, like, attack enemy range units so they can't shoot you. Or you use them to, uh, hunt down fleeing enemy units. And that's how I use them. There wasn't really any targets for the Blood Knights. The Blood Knights are anti-large cavalry. So attacking my pistoliers is probably the best thing they could have done. Well, Gotrek got 46 kills. 13 for Felix. We get the Griffin Banner. Minus 4 leadership. Passive around self. Sure, we'll give that to the Warfoots Band. And we'll... Loot and occupy Eshin, or take Eshin. I'll just occupy it. Von Cast Irons have been obliterated. Pit fighter casualties. And we'll retain control, thank you very much. Get a charcoal burner. Wood is burned to create charcoal, an important fuel for the winter months. Yes. Okay. Defeat of Vlad Von Cast Iron. Rune recovery time minus four. Down, but probably not out, as you cannot really kill what doesn't truly live. Vampire Hunter. No servant of the Midnight Aristocracy dares stand against the Veteran Slayer. Achieved victory over Vampire Counts multiple times. Leadership plus three when fighting against Vampire Counts, Lord's Army. To the provinces. We've done good. Pretty much wiped out the entirety of the Vampire Counts over here. Who knew the Halflings had it in them? Uh, Empire Captain. I'm going to give you... Mm, Blade Master. The next one, then. 
And then what? The nation calls. My quest is doom. Test me at your peril. You can move from there to over here. I'll move you a Monster little bit. Slayer. I don't really want to force march you because will they attack you? If they do, they'll get the uh, garrison out. When do you disappear? Five turns. Hey. Could you attack Mugger for me, please? Alaric, get gold. Oh, you can't. I can't tell you to attack anything. Hey, Marius Leekdorf. Uh... I would like you to attack that. Actually, not that. I'd like you to attack Iki over there, please. Eshen, we are going to build orchards! Wine! And, uh... This game of corruption is going up. Well, public order is going to be... Fine. Uh, hmm. Build the overgrown grove. Actually, no. Because I would like to build that into capital. Uh, build. Build the fields. And how are we going for time? Uh. Well, yes. I think we'll probably leave it there for tonight. We've gone through how many turns? We're on turn 30 now. Uh, I think we started on turn 19? Or was it turn 23? Yeah, turn, turn 23. So we've gone through 7 turns? There's a lot to do in each turn, though. Just having to fight off all these enemies all over the place. So, yeah, next time we'll have to defend Castle Tempelhof from our own rebellion of vampire counts. And then it'll be consolidating the territory we just took from the vampire counts. The most humiliating defeat they've ever suffered. Ugh. We're doing pretty good. Better than I thought we would. I thought it was just going to be a lot of turns sitting in the Mootland fighting off enemies as they come by occasionally. But actually we're doing... I'm being more proactive than that and we're taking the fight to the enemy. Ugh. Would be nice if the Halflings had a few more units. I know they don't really have... They don't have armies, but they are missing units from the tabletop. Which is understandable. Units they're missing are mostly cavalry. And the dwarves don't have cavalry, so there's no animations for that. I feel in that case, as I said last time, it would be good if they were just... Maybe given some empire units to fill in the gaps there. We do have pistol ears. Um, there's also the... Uh, Halfling housewives, which I believe are, can be come like right sword units with frenzy hmm. but again models uh you probably just come up with a proxy or something like that anyway so yes that will do it for total war Warham total war warhammer 2 for tonight i would like to thank you very much for joining me for this Continuing venture for the halflings, who are doing awfully good for themselves. Having kicked Manfred and Vlad von Karstein both to the curb. <laughs> we now sit feasting in Castle Drakenhof and Castle Templehof, and are currently furiously tilling the land to make it nice and fertile and fantastic for picnics. So yes, I'd like to thank you very much for joining me, and I hope you'll join me all again next time. Stop the recording here.